Yeah, it was a, that was the same protocol as any other time I've ever went to go see Trump myself. But that was no different. How? He invited hey, listen, 400 you know. black kids to hear him speak, and then he's we had to go online, and we're just being told that overpaid to be there. <laughs> oh, a bunch of. He he I was there, so are you telling me that I got paid to go to the White House? Did you? No. Well, so why would you say that I got paid to go there? Mm. I think that's a little, like, I don't, I don't know. Why can't black people think for themselves? Why do you think yeah. if you see 400 black kids in the 8th wing in the White House, they were paid to be there instead of thinking for themselves? So you mm. wouldn't have to call under Obama. So why is it that young black kids can't go to the White House to hear Trump? Why is it all of a sudden that I'm paid to be there? Why yeah. do you have that assumption? Do you not think that that's wrong? Mm. I am really curious, though, that if you answer that question... Do you, you think that under Obama, that I was paid to be there? No. So why do you think that I'm getting paid? You're not getting a little like, offensive, a little racist, just doing that, oh, me being in the White House under Trump, because we're just a bunch of paid people. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, How? How are you telling me that he's racist? Have you met him? I don't want it. So are you going to just throw these? This is why it's important to me, because when you're telling these things like, this is racist, this is racist, this actually takes away from things that are actually racist. And it's hard yes. for me as a black man to sit here and say, yes, this president that invites racist. And it's hard for me as a black man to sit here and say, yes, this president that invited 400 black kids to hear him speak and invite to the White House, that, that man is racist. So you it's important to me because when you're telling these things like this is racist, this is racist, this actually takes away from things that are actually racist. Yes. And it's hard for no me cap. as a black man to sit here and say, no cap. Yes, this president that invited 400 no black kids to speak and invite to the White House, that, that man is racist. <laughs> Took everybody can, had everybody in the military speak, didn't say anything inflammatory. How is a man, that was bad racist for me. I ran into a lot of people that are saying, it's just people are a plenitude of people are are so quick to judge DJT with without having the facts straight a, a plenitude of people are a plenitude of people are a plenitude of people are so quick to judge DJT without having the facts straight. It's important to me because when you're telling these things like, this is racist, this is racist, this actually takes away from things that are actually racist. And it's hard for me as a black man to sit here and say, yes, this president that invited 400 black kids to hear him speak and invite to the White House, that, that man is racist. Crazy. Took everybody can, had everybody in the military speak, didn't say anything inflammatory. How is a man, that was bad racist to me. I ran into a lot of people that are saying, it's crazy the idea of black people even supporting Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, what would your message to those people be, you know, people that are saying it's completely crazy? They have to wake up, they have to be informed. Both. Yes, yes. Uh, you have to look and see what fits best for you. Yes. Because I can tell you, you know, yes. the left and the Democrat don't all necessarily <clears throat> vote with the black community either, except when it's time to vote. Mm. So, what? Do not place uh, race above policies. Do not place uh, sex above policies. Do not place uh, woke. Do not place wokeness above policies. Do not place identity identity above policies. Do not do not place identity identity above policies. You know, the left and the Democrat don't all necessarily vote with the black community either, except when it's time to vote. So, what is, every, every four years, they're, they're not going to So, yeah, I, I, I think that. So, no, they just have to wake up, be informed. I think that's very important. The black community didn't understand Trump going into his first election or his uh, first term. 
Then Biden came in, they saw that the economy took a plummet, came back, and they're like, wow, it's not good. Let's go back to Trump. So that's why his, you know, his numbers increased. They've seen both presidencies <coughs> for Trump. Absolutely. Speak your mind. You won't get in trouble. I know. I just don't, I just don't want to don't be out there. Here. People don't know better. That's what it is. They just are loyal to what they think they know, but I, I Brain don't think people are people say are. And they've just been told or this inculcated, indoctrinated. I think that. So, no, you just have to wake up, be informed. I think that's very important. The black community didn't understand Trump going into his first election or his uh, first term. Then Biden came in, they saw that the economy took a plummet, came back, and they're like, wow, it's not good. Let's go back to Trump. So that's why his, you know, his numbers increased. They've seen both presidencies. They yeah. prefer Trump. Absolutely. Just speak your mind. You won't get in trouble. I know, I just don't, I just don't want to don't be out there. Out here. People don't know better. That's what it is. They just are loyal to what they think they know, but I, I don't think people are aware of what the issues are. And they've just been told, or this person has been demonized, so they're just like, I'm just going to hop on the bandwagon. They say this person is a bad man. I'm just going to believe he's a bad man and not vote for him. They don't know. Well, I mean, he came to my job and I met him, so. Oh, did he Yeah. So. Salute, salute. Yeah. And he treated you with respect? Oh, with respect. A lot of them. Very nice person. Yeah. So you're going to be voting for Donald Trump this year, November. You're going to be voting for Donald Trump? I'm voting for sure. A horribly uninformed. Um, right here I have a, a mere photo. He's actually my friend. He, he is a Trump supporter. Okay. Uh, now, this gentleman right here is saying maybe perhaps horribly uninformed would be a reason for supporting Donald Trump if you are a black American. Would you mind uh, maybe unpacking that for a mere who is a Trump supporter? Okay. Uh, Okay, he ha he's, he's against Obamacare. There's a lot of poor, poor people and uh, middle class people that really need Obamacare. Obamacare. Which I'd argue that a lot of the poor white would probably, that probably affects them too. So what is just the black community? Have you heard of his opportunity though, that he tried to enact? I, from, from Donald Trump, yeah. I, I haven't heard of thing. Wow, yeah, well Donald Trump was trying to revitalize our neighborhoods by giving more opportunities to black people in the inner city. Yeah. And that was a program that was initiated that he was really trying to get started, but none of the left media was probably really reporting on it because it ruins the narrative that he is a racist, that he's a bigot, that he hates black people. And yeah. you know, I yeah. personally, as someone who went from marching in the streets of BLM to less than a year later, being invited to the White House to meet Trump for myself, I saw a completely different man than what the media was mm. saying. Is he perfect? No. Does he say stupid things? Yes. But if no, no, nobody is. No, nobody is infallible. Not DJT. Not Don. Not JB. Not Kamala. Not Amir. Not uh, Klug. Not. Uh, BCP, OT, ABL, uh, Amala, not uh, TYT, not Richie, not Roland, not Joy, not uh, Ola Yemi, o Ola Yemi, not uh, AJW, not uh, Steven Crowder, not Destiny, not you know, no nobody is infallible. We all have flaws. The the people that pretend that pretend to be flawless, flawless, faultless, infallible, they 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 epitomize fugaziness, fakeness, fakeness. The people that pretend to be flawless are epitomies of fugaziness. 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 Word. Uh, yeah, the yeah. D DJT did 
a plenitude of things uh, laudable uh, to be extolled, to be praised, but he also did things that I do not laud, do not uh, praise. He 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 passed into law the uh, anti hate speech laws, the the an the anti hate speech laws. Uh, uh, the the yeah, bro, yeah. That that was goofy to me what uh Don did but he is a he I uh I I have more um uh, respect I have more respect for Don than I do for JB. Don, he needs to be back in office. He is the most logical choice at, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he is, he, Don, he is the most logical jb yeah jb has to go he jb gotta go joe gotta go he yeah uh, he 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 the yeah bruh but yeah bro yeah 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 say what you want about uh don but he is not close to bigoted, racist, sexist, xenophobic, not close to uh, prejudiced, prejudiced, uh, hateful. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. People gotta chill, people gotta, he, Don, he gets taken out of context a lot a lot people people they uh, yeah don he gets taken out he gets taken out of context a lot uh, the, the wokies they 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 pushed they pushed uh the the false narrative that Don uh, called for a uh, a a killing a killing of a lot of people. Nah, nah. When he said bloodbath, he uh, was referring to. Uh, in 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 economic bloodbath, uh, uh, I meant to say in economic uh, disaster. That is what what he meant by, uh, when when he said bloodbath. He did not he did not call for physical uh, violence against uh other group uh different groups nah nah the, the wokies they 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 intentionally deceived the public the public with uh obloquious speech about uh don he 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 referred to the auto industry uh he said the uh jb's uh ev mandate 
will create issues for the auto in industry, the ant, the auto workers, the auto workers. Um, job losses, bro. It, it 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 will lead to a a major economic disaster. A major economic disaster. Not uh, a slaughter. Not a massacre. But a in an economic in economic in eco economic disaster in economic disaster in economic disaster y'all goofy's gotta stop you know, I gotta stop the cap so less than a year later being invited to the white house to meet trump hates black people and you know i personally ev stands for uh for electric vehicles electric vehicles ev he hates black people he wants you know i personally to switch from gas to all ev that nah that that would not be good you know i personally as someone who went from mark chicken street to blm city it would be good for uh for for china china but not for the U.S. And that was a program that was initiated that he was really trying to get started, but none of the left media was probably really reporting on it because it ruins the narrative. He said, Don said, if, if he does not get put back in office, 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 it will be bad. It, it will be bad. It will be bad for the the auto in industry bro he said if he said if he does not get put back in office it will be bad for the auto industry facts he said he he, he will put a tariff a tariff uh, yeah uh bro he said he's not gonna he 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 will not let china uh sell uh sell the uh the uh vehicles bro uh, yeah yeah bro but none of the left media was probably really reporting on it because it ruins the narrative that he is a racist, that he is a bigot, that he hates black people. And, you know, I personally, as someone who went from marching in the streets of BLM to less than a year later, being invited to the White House to meet Trump for my watch. Son, I saw Watch the, the full context before you judge uh, a soul. See the full ish. Do not uh, uh, do 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 not do not do not re uh, be quick to do not be quick to judge a soul before uh, un until you have all the facts do not be quick to judge a soul until you have all the facts do not be quick to judge a soul until you have all the facts 
against the black community. Have you heard of his opportunity zone that he tried to enact? Yes, I have. For, from Donald Trump, yeah. Please. I have heard his thing. Wow, yeah. Well, Donald Trump was trying to revitalize our neighborhoods by giving more opportunities to black people in their city. And that was a program that was initiated that he was really trying to get started, but none of the left media was probably really reporting on it because it ruins the narrative that he is a racist, that he is a bigot, that he hates black people. And, you know, I personally, as someone who went from marching in the streets of BLM to less than a year later, being invited to the White House to meet Trump for myself, I saw a completely different man than what the media was saying. Is he perfect? No. Does he say stupid things? Yes. Yeah. But in the day, especially regarding Trump versus Biden, I don't see any way how the black community is benefiting from Biden, especially when they're building. Uh. Oh my God, Trump's gonna start wars. Biden has. Uh. Oh my God, Trump's racist. Biden's the more the guy who has more info on being more racist. Yeah. He's the one his kids growing up in a racial jungle. jungle. He said that Obama was the first articulate man, yeah. black man that they put in the mainstream media. Like Biden has said the more racist things. He said if you vote for Trump, then you're not black. Yeah. Like he it's said a, a lot, and it it, it baffled me. What do you think about that? Crazy. No, I actually agree with some of what he said because Biden did say those things. Yeah. But you know, I'm, you know. Neither one, neither one of these guys are perfect, you know, but Trump is totally self-absorbed. He, he, uh, I think he insults the, uh, uh, the electorate with all that, the bull can I say bull <laughs> Both that they, you know, that they, uh, uh, Do you think it's more Trump or the media? Huh? Do you think it's more the media? displaying him in that light. The media. The media. The media. The electorate with all that. Paint. Uh, Don. In. A bad light. Intentionally. He, uh, I think he, neither one of these guys are perfect, you know, but if, Trump if, is totally if, if he, the media he, told the truth, they would not profit. If the media told the truth, if, if the media told the truth, the media would not profit. Biden has. Please oh my God, Trump's racist. get that. Biden's the more, the guy who has more Please influence on being more racist. Get the one kids that. But at the end of the day, especially regarding Trump versus Biden, I don't see any way how the black community is benefiting from Biden, especially when they're like, oh my God, Trump's going to start wars. Biden has. Oh my God, Trump's racist. Biden. And it's a sense. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, you know, Neither one, neither one of these guys are perfect, you know, but Trump is totally self-absorbed. He, in, he uh, I think he insults the uh, uh, the electorate with all that, the bull can I say bull? Yeah. <laughs> no. Both that they, you know, that they, uh, uh, Do you think it's more Trump or the media? Huh? Do you think it's more the media? displaying him in that light, or do you think it actually is just him as a person? Do you think what? the media misled a lot of people about that stuff? Well, the media always misleads. Always. I think so. So, but you have to be informed. You have to be an informed individual to look at the individual and tell what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Every, everything, everything you said is crazy. What was <laughs> yeah. 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 All of what Don says, says is BS. Yeah, he, yeah, he bugged out the, this man with, with the hat. This man with the hat, he bugged out when he said all of what Don says is BS. Yeah, what what he what you, what you just said is BS. What you what you just said what you just said is BS. What you just said 
is BS. The individual tell yeah. what's right and what's need wrong. Need a break. Everything you said is crazy. You're telling uh, like what example? Bibles. I'm kind of stupid. So what, come can on. I like, what is some example? I can show you ways that can say things that he probably may have said. But they flipped it. Mm. Like, oh, they stored it. This stored it. This stored it. This stored it. What's right and what's wrong. This stored it. This stored it. This stored it. I'm kind of stupid. So, like, come on. Can I, like, what is some examples? I can show you ways that you can say things that you probably may have said. So, JB did not like, say idiotic sides, stuff. JB did not say idiotic stuff. JB did not. JB did not say idiotic stuff or crazy uh, stuff or uh bigoted stuff stuff or this unifying stuff jb did not say stu uh stupid or idiotic stuff he did not say crazy stuff he did, he did he did he did not say crazy stuff the media displaying him in that light or do you think it actually is just do you think the media misled a lot of people about that stuff well the media always misses always i think so so but you have to be informed you have to be an informed individual to look at the individual and tell what's right and what's wrong Every, everything everything you said was crazy most Stuff. What? Like uh, what example? Bibles. I'm kind of stupid. So like, come can on. I like, what is some example? Because I can show you ways that can say things that he probably may have said, but they flipped it. Like, oh, there's good people on both sides of Charlottesville. He's never denounced white supremacy. He did two sentences before that, but the media took that clip and ran with it and said he's the biggest racist. Wow. So, so what's something as an example that? He said that it's stupid and dumb is just bigoted. Yeah, maybe that you have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Again. Uh, he, he's, I'm here to ask for maybe an example of something that you have a problem with that Donald Trump said. Yeah. Okay. Something I'm maybe not saying. Oh, he's going to pull the phone Let me see. Well, he says something stupid every day. It's me an example. Well, I think it's because I think it's about learning a little bit. I, I'm curious okay, here. So that good at people on both sides. Do you know what he said two sentences before that? Huh? Do you know what he said two sentences? Do you know? I don't need to know. What? He said I disavow them, and they are bad white supremacists, and I disavow that. Did you know that? No. I didn't hear so that. So then that example is null and void. He didn't. He didn't add the context was not there. But you mm. know another example of things of what he said that. It's extremely racist. For me. You know, you're being stupid or whatever I say. <laughs> I'm not saying so. anything. Yeah. I'm just scared of that. Yeah. But if you're saying that something's racist, you just... Wow. I didn't hear so that. So then that example is just null and void. He didn't, he didn't add the context. It's not there. So give me another example, please, of what he said that is extremely racist. For me. You know, you're being stupid or whatever I say. I'm not so. saying anything. Yeah, I'm just studying out my... How much, but if you're saying that something racist, you should have a concrete fact. Yes. Real proof to substantiate uh, the claims that you make. You must have real proof, proof to substantiate the claims that you make. I you studying about life. How much you mean? But if you're saying that something racist, you should have a concrete fact, because that's a serious thing. But yes. my ancestors were whipped and beat by white people, and I'm living here, I'm their dream. I'm not experiencing any of racism like that. So if you're yeah. telling me this man is racist, I need a hard work back, because that's yes. a fact racist. Yes. Black folks, uh, black Amir black just cooked.
a a mirror just cooked, bro. Like the, the white dude, the white, the white dude has nada for old dumb. He just continues to say he's this to, to say Don is this that uh, evil what like what proof what evidence do you have like, like the, the wokies the the wokies the wokies they piss me off he didn't act the context is not there but give me another example they always Label people, but but do not show proof. Words, words. By white people, and now I'm living here. I'm their dream. I'm not experiencing any of racism like that. But if you're telling me this man is racist, I need a hard work done because that man is in fact racist. Black folks, uh, black dream. Black gym shoes, uh, his golden gym shoes. Uh, coming out with the Bible, I do. I mean, I, I, I didn't hear that one. Um, is that is that that's racist to say black gym shoes? Racist to say that we own the majority of the shoe industry, with Jordan, the EZ, uh, John. It's kind of stupid to think this because you come out with a pair of gym shoes, every white person is going to go buy it. You might have asked though. So, so that 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 does seem. You know, I, I think it is important that we try to find leaders that are a little more disciplined with their language. I absolutely yeah. understand that. I, I think you have a good point there. Yeah. However, if we're thinking about like bad, like bad language from Donald Trump, and that's the example there. Uh, you know, do we think that Joe Biden might have some examples that are probably bad as well? Like, yes. Like, like, yes. Right. Brought up earlier. Saying that Barack Obama in 07 was the first mainstream African American that is articulate and bright and clean. That is a exact quote it seems as though that's incredibly problematic yes you know like bad it's like bad language from donald trump and that's the example there uh you know do we think that joe biden might have some examples that are probably bad as well like when amir brought up earlier saying that barack obama in 07 was the first mainstream african-american that is articulate and bright and clean that is a exact quote it seems as though that's Incredibly problematic. That's like worse than what it's probably stupid. Yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. That's yeah. more than stupid. That, that's, a, that's a really bad one. Really bad. Evil. Offensive. Prejudice. Saying that Offensive. Obama was the first mainstream African American that is articulate. What JD said. That is an exact quote. But people, but the, but the, but the, the radical lefties, they make excuses. For that bozo, they make excuses for that bozo. Example there. It uh, infuriates you know, do you think that Joe Biden me. Might have some examples that are probably bad as well, like what Amir right. brought up earlier, saying that Barack Obama in 07 was the first mainstream African American that is articulate and bright and clean. That is a exact quote. I, it seems as though that's. Incredibly problematic. Like yeah. Worse than what Agreed. Yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. That's more than stupid. That, that's, a, yes. that's a really bad one. Really Beyond. Bad the shoes. That's a serious thing to take about somebody. That's racist. And I'm. Bad one. The shoes. That's a serious thing to take about somebody. That they are racist. And I'm not trying to spin anything on it. This is my gotcha moment. You're telling me things. He said, oh, there's good people on both sides. And I'm telling you, here's the full context. That's not spinning something. You're the one that got spun by mainstream media, just didn't just ran with it. He said, there's good people on both sides. That's not the truth. I'm giving you the full context. That's pretty gnarly, right? I do not support that. Thank you. But now, look at the deal. But here's the deal. All of a sudden now, you're a transphobic. All now, like, oh, you're some crazy Republican. When in reality, it's not exactly we're trying to spin nothing. Just we're for the truth. Hold on. Hello, everybody. I do HR, I resources, I love everybody. Yeah. I love everybody. <laughs>
keep it as comfortable on both sides. That's not the truth. I'm giving you the full context. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly, right? That's pretty gnarly. Thank you. But now, but here's the deal. But here's the deal. All of a sudden now, you're transphobic. All now, like, oh, you're so crazy Republican. When in reality, it's not like that. We're trying to spin nothing. Just we're for the truth. Hold on. I love everybody. Hey, I do HR, I do resources. I love everybody. I'm going to be able to control right now because they injured dozens of Secret Service agents, police officers, and they tried to get into the White House. Do you think they would have just, if they got into the White House, they would have just given Donald Trump a big hug? What do you think they would have done? I don't know, but, you know, it's a good thought. What? What's a good thought? They couldn't have mentioned that. What, about like murdering Donald Trump? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy bruh, crazy bruh, crazy bruh. Let me know what y'all candidly think about uh, what everybody said. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is Don uh, evil? Is JB? A good man. Let yo. Know, let me know. Let me know. Let 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 me know. Chat civilly down below. You can disagree with what I said, but be civil. Be uh, peaceful. Be peaceful. Do not uh, go below the belt. I I will delete the uh, comment if you talk too greasy, bro. If 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 you talk too greasy, I will delete the comment. The comment, the comment. If you talk too greasy, I will delete the comment. So be cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people gotta think freely, bruh. Do not uh, blindly believe what people say seek the truth seek the truth seek the facts do, do not be a sheep please if you get hated for uh having uh, free mindedness, free mindedness, uh, free mindedness. If you get hated for, if you get hated for having free mindedness, it is, it is what it is. Peace.